once I'd got it on the computer, I literally chopped the first minute off, budged it up a little bit, slapped some music on either end. I didn't even listen to it because I knew it was going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> That's quality control for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure the guys will say something if it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was, it was fine. Yeah. I've listened to it about four times because it's a, a nice memory yeah. <laughs> and it's short. <laughs> yeah, nice. Yeah. Are we, uh, are we doing it? What we're talking like about now? What we're talking about uh, now? Yeah. Aren't, aren't we already doing it? Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the half pint. Uh, the... The scraps and leftovers from the main episode, uh, where we are unfiltered and without conscience. <laughs> <laughs> speak, speak for yourself. <laughs> yeah. I never have a conscience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I only think that it was one last thing to mention about Make a Gentle that going back, that it was really nice that. Uh, on just uh, uh, weird happenstance that uh, Leo of Grundfunkel uh, was on the same flight as me to Munich. So I actually got to spend some time with them on the, in the airport uh, waiting. And, and it was really nice, a nice way to come down from all of this hectic standing around screaming with people, loud noises everywhere, and just yeah. sit the two of us talking quietly about everything and nothing oh, for, nice. for an hour <laughs> or so. Yeah. So. Yeah, that was that was a re- really nice way to to end the uh, end the the weekend. So I think next year, everyone who is traveling far and not just lives an hour away, uh, <laughs> we should make some kind of spreadsheet or something like that, where people who have already booked their flights can put in their information, so we can try to get on the same flights as people, because that's really nice to not go <laughs> through airport hell alone, but to have a, a friend. That would be really nice for those people that have had enough of everybody as well and know they're going to have had enough of everybody because then they can avoid. Yes. The yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It works both, works both ways. <laughs> Gate 17, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, it was really nice. I, I met Pierre and Justin uh, and a, f- a few other guys at the airport and, of course, uh, me and... Um, Justin from the Garage Avenger uh, took the same plane because we live not far from each other. And uh, he actually, well, I did think about taking the train and now nah, I ended up taking the car to the airport and I was so jealous. I mean, you are so depleted, your battery and you're getting to that airport and you have to stand there with all the people queuing up to get an extremely crowded train that last bit i mean it would really be nice to just sit down in your own car put on some music and get a cup of coffee and just drive all the way to your door so uh but i I think next year i'm gonna go home on an earlier flight because there is something about i thought this was an afternoon flight but but still it was too late so there was a lot of people on board who just do like they do when they take the night train or an overnight flight they get way too comfortable and i mean you're sitting in a metal tube with a lot of other people keep your fucking shoes on i mean oh. and you have probably <laughs> walked in those shoes the entire day and now you're kicking them off and <laughs> i was sitting in uh <laughs> mid smack uh, i think it was a chinese family and then hey, they have left all their uh manners <laughs> just having it kj there whistling away i didn't do that on the player of play no i don't know what you're no. talking about <laughs> i would never take my shoes off in an airplane no no never happened oh. yeah. no people get too four comfortable times? <laughs> Four flights, four times, yeah. Okay. okay so, only did but yeah, then it's a good idea with that spreadsheet, knowing which plane people are taking. So I'm taking <laughs> another plane. <laughs> oh. What did we say we were going to reveal in the half pint from the main show? Which was 10 minutes ago, so obviously I can't remember. No. <laughs> <laughs> what we did talk about, the Jenga and the, the secret... Ah, passcode yes. to win a prize and of course i volunteered to make a prize but of course i 
haven't decided still what that's <laughs> got to be, but uh, no one DM'd us with that code. Well, except uh, Lily, your daughter, <laughs> sent a message like, oh, I got the code. So like, <laughs> crap, I have to make a nice present now. You just slap anything together and just ship it. So yeah, so yeah. we have an unofficial official winner for uh, Jenga contest. Uh, it doesn't have to count. It's okay. <laughs> We'll, we'll just accept the health order in payment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Would you really want that in your house? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I think I've got room in the office here with me. <laughs> I mean, that, that would have been a great idea to have a project that would be like uh, like those circulating trophies from year to year. You start a project and you make something and you just send it yeah. to another maker and just add to it however you feel yeah. suitable. And then uh, after 10 years and 20 makers, what uh, has come out of it? <laughs> <laughs> I think I can pretty much guarantee if the Hellcorder came here, it goes to the next maker broken. <laughs> 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 I don't say that. I mean, uh, you have made a lot of instruments, so uh, I true, think yeah. uh, it would be in capable hands. Yeah, but the computer <laughs> but would just t- uh, commit suicide in Brown's house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that being said, I saw a brilliant someone had brought a, a white hoodie to make a central just for people to sign, and then they're going to yeah. raffle it off yeah. or something. And I thought about making of course, my sweater with my logo on it so it would be recognizable and so on. And then I got a brilliant idea. I'm going to do that for next year. I'm going to make uh, a sweater with my logo on it, of course. But I'm also going to put like uh, a white square without anything on it, just on the side or, or something, and then uh, get as much uh, people to sign it as possible. Of course, I'm not giving it away. I'm keeping that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think well, it was a DIY wannabe, wasn't it? Yes. The white yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah. Actually, one of... One of my favourite souvenirs from the show is uh, Lily's Jenga block, which is here with me now in the office. I've uh, taken care of it, and uh, it's got everybody's maker sticker on it. It's a fantastic piece. Yeah. And uh, a shout out to Dean Makes as well because I swapped the podcast brick with his. <laughs> of course, I didn't realise that some all the kids had emptied all the sweets out of his before I did the swap, but it's still a nice piece. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his was the most popular brick among the kids, yeah. when it was filled at least. <laughs> <laughs> all of the bricks, bar a couple, stood up so well to that punishment. I mean, yeah. they all had dinks and bumps in them, but uh, most of them stood up to it all. Yeah. I think that it was, was the only the Norwegian well. flag that, that died a couple of times. Is that Martin's? Yeah. Yeah. The beautiful. He needs, he needs better glue. He does need better glue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um... and the make with makers need to try fixing it with something better than double sided sticky tape. <laughs> <laughs> we went over to that glue stand, the super glue guys, but they they tried two times to glue it together, but you no, know, they they weren't they weren't optimistic. <laughs> no, I think he needs just a festival domino. I was going to say, we need a lamello, <laughs> but yeah, Domino is even better. <laughs> yeah. I also swapped one of my bricks with uh, the big man himself, KJ. I've got a, an official crude but efficient Jenga brick in my house. <laughs> one of the crudest things I've ever made. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm looking up at it now, KJ, and it's making me smile. <laughs> nice, nice, I, yeah. I still I, really want to make one, but next year it's probably going to be something different, but... Uh... Yeah, knowing that something will probably pop up, I'm going to clear my uh, project schedule so I have at least a couple of weeks before I make a central to uh, to make uh, various uh, items. And of course, uh, having Welsh Thomas coming over with a cigar box and just like opening the lid like that scene in uh, oh, Pulp yeah. Fiction. And yeah. Like, and then like a custom made pencil. It was brilliant. So I sharpened it yeah. yesterday and just yeah. been using it all left and right. So I sharpened mine and Michelle's stolen it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's proper nice. I understand you, you would. Yeah. You actually had to earn those uh, those pencils. <clears throat> I earned those for us for Do you have to uh, flip him the bird if you saw him and then you got a free pencil? <laughs> Oh, that, that's that, the... I didn't, uh, that's why I didn't get, get one. That yeah. is the only thing I felt left out on that everyone's showing off their pencils. <laughs> what pencils? I didn't even know there were some pencils. <laughs> well, I gave the guy a hug instead. Damn it! Yeah, I thought he's like, oh, it's, I'm, I'm a yeah. nice guy. Someone gives me something. No, no. 
It's because I saw him and flipped in the bird. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle was upset because she didn't get a Welsh Thomas sticker and she didn't get a Behind the Mistake sticker. Oh, but it's okay. Yeah. I peeled a Behind the Mistake. I had a spare one stuck on the top of my door and I peeled it off for her. <laughs> She's still sticky enough to reuse. So you're oh. off the hook. <laughs> Speaking of stickers, do you you have a plan? Or are you going to get a bigger bandsaw just? Well, (laughs) I mean, yeah, uh, Chloe had a brilliant idea. Uh, She just need a bigger bandsaw because I'm running out of space to put stickers on. Uh, But then, of course, uh, talking about the lasers uh, with uh, (laughs) McKenna Workshops, uh, he said, like, you can get a lot of stickers on a Myra 9. (laughs) So, (laughs) yeah. No. Um, I'm going to build something. I'm not sure what yet, but since I'm going to move my workshop at some point, it needs to be something I can take with me. So, uh, yeah. yeah, some frame of some sort, maybe. Just to a pole, a pole in the middle of your workshop. That wouldn't look suspicious at all. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would run out of space rather quickly. <laughs> pole from top to bottom. I think, you'd, I think that'd take a while, wouldn't it? Nah. I mean... How big what, po- what a kind pole of are you pole are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, the, I mean, the, the, the spin spin you dance around. Yeah, yeah that's, yeah, that's, that's only ones, like one yeah. sticker on each height, and that's like, <laughs> yeah, that's not that many. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But I also got another idea, and we'll circle back to that for next uh, year's Maker Central. But I was standing outside, and of course, uh, Wells Thomas just came and patted me on the shoulder, and he just pointed over at the Moxie, the hotel. And like, look, Tim is here. <laughs> and I was like, oh, how cool. Tim actually got a, found a way to join us. And I just, no, yeah, yeah, he's in that window. I'm like, ha, huh, what? And I just looked up and I taped the picture of him <laughs> in the window of the hotel. And then like half an hour later, we saw <laughs> Welsh Thomas walking around with uh, the picture of Tim on a stick. <laughs> yeah, that picture was really unnerving. <laughs> oh. But yeah, that's, that's brilliant. I mean, and it, it just kept at it as well. So that just added to the hilarity because several hours later, you just saw that, that head of Tim floating on the stick way above everyone else. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah we, we talked about doing something similar at Scarper Festival and with Glenn, but we never did. Yeah. No. I mean, so that's kudos to, to Welsh Thomas to actually <laughs> pulling it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's it's really nice for Tim. I think he said that all right, he has never been tagged in so many posts at an event he is actually not even <laughs> attending. So <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, so that is nice. So, so I got the idea, and we talked about it earlier, like the those uh, pop up posters, like one to one of yourself. So <laughs> should you make something fun there? Because I think Maker Central is a blank canvas for some sort of pranks or a game where you hide something like uh, a treasure map or something. So with little planning, you can actually make some really good uh, side quests. <laughs> yeah, that definitely could be possible. Can't talk much about that now because then we would spoil it. So yeah. Yeah. Be there or be square. Isn't that what the kids say? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, coming off the high, what's the what's the plan? I mean, we're all back home. Uh, we have workshops. What's the plan for the coming week? Any build projects coming along? Desperately, desperately finishing the Fools with Tools treasure trade. That's due on Saturday, I think. So uh, by the time this post- podcast comes out, I hopefully have it done or... Well, you know what I've been doing this, <laughs> this Saturday. Oh, what you made? Uh, I'm not uh, liberty to say <laughs> until it arrived, but it's not going next door. I can say that. So it's going to take a while, uh, considering how well the postal service works. So I can talk about it maybe next year, yeah. perhaps. But then again, this Saturday, that gives you... A week and a half, then also uh, finishing uh, Chloe's uh, build challenge after that. I think didn't uh, her upscale uh, scrapwood uh, storage challenge end on the 9th of June? <laughs> it does, that's yes. The 9th, yeah. yeah. So, the, yeah, that's a, so that's more or less a week. For, uh, we'll see about that. Yeah. <laughs> that's 
<laughs> if I, I do something, that's going to be even cruder than the Jenga brick. <laughs> and I, I, I have been thinking that I really should be a little less crude and a little more efficient. <laughs> Not be, I've been a bit too sloppy lately. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not making any promises. And I need to finish that goddamn rose cage as well. <laughs> goddamn rose cage? <laughs> yeah, because the goddamn rose is trying to... Uh, yeah, it's, it, was, it was reaching for me today when I mowed the lawn. So I, I need it needs to be locked up. Well, for me, it's um, I feel like I've got to make something on the lathe to conclude that project. Yes, definitely. Yeah. yeah. So um, I did make today just a little thing to hold well, I don't know I don't know how you describe it but you know if you're turning a bowl or a cup and you just need to you need to turn the bit from the front so you don't have two points into two rotating points into the workpiece so I made a, a little I don't know round disc with a bar on it if you like which I can fix to the workpiece so it supports it just from one end a backing plate or something maybe like yeah something like that but I actually got the welder out and the angle grinder and yeah, made a little thing. It turned out pretty decent as well. Do you trust your welds that much? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there's a great big piece of steel in the back garden being held up by my weld. <laughs> it's doing fine. <laughs> I've even done a pull up on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's good. And um, yeah, I do want to, like I said, I've got the um, the drill presses back, a brand new one, feeling much, much better and freer and easier than the last one. Um, so I'm going to make did a little... The, did the last one feel good at the start, or was it always a bit crap? It was always a bit stiff and just felt a okay. bit wrong, yeah. Okay, so but it I just thought maybe a m- Monday. Yeah, I just thought that's Another how one. these drills are. <laughs> <laughs> you, you never know when... <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, but that's back, so I'm going to... Uh, I am hopefully going to get stuck into um, Chloe's project um, and get that done before the ninth, hopefully. Just a simple draw, basically, to hold some drill bits, so it should be easy enough. I was thinking the same, but of course, if you're doing it, I'm not going to do it, and I don't have the time as well, but I bought plywood for that purpose, so I, I'm struggling with uh, <laughs> shoehorning that into the criteria of that challenge when you actually bought materials <laughs> to make that shelf. It's the... Uh... <laughs> it's not upscaling, and it's you not... You don't uh... think you have to upscale, actually. That's just one of the options. Yeah, but it it should be some scrap wood. I mean, you you couldn't buy materials to build some storage, I think or you can. Oh, you can. All right. Uh, yeah, maybe yeah. I misunderstood that. I haven't listened to the rules. Yeah, I I, re- <laughs> yeah. I, <don't. laughs> I read read through them today, and it's you can upscale some <laughs> up something, or uh, you can just make something. So yeah, yeah, but that that's brilliant. I'm I'm gonna do more like KJ. I'm like, oh, competition. Yeah, I'm I'm entering. I'm uh, building a. Uh, motorized wheelbarrow but it is a woodworking child i'm building a motorized wheelbarrow <laughs> Just my rules <laughs> so, i hope i've got that right now that you can use new materials because i've got nothing to upcycle to make this thing out of so <laughs> yeah if only you you knew the person holding it in the competition and <laughs> yeah if she was listening to this i mean i'm sure she would yeah. correct you. I mean, oh, she could she could probably add a category. It's like uh, <laughs> noob, seasoned maker, and Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, I'll just be upcycling a tree, won't I? <laughs> that that is true. And uh, <laughs> yesterday, I uh, I pulled out some uh, weed whacking equipment uh, from the shed and brought them to life today. And I also found my axe, the one we spoke about earlier, and. Uh, that needs a new handle. And I have a small oak tree that <laughs> I thought it died over the winter, but no, it is coming with new, uh, what's it called? Sprouts? No. Uh, the, shoots? Uh, yeah, shoots. Leaves? From, from <laughs> like lower down on the trunk. Is that? No. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I thought, I'm going to do it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut the handle off and tap it out. And I'm going to, but I have to make, it probably going to take that year 10 to 15 years to grow into filling that hole. It's a small axe, so it should be doable. But of course, I don't want the handle to hurt the tree before it grows into it. And I don't want it to continue rusting too much. So it's like, uh, should I surf it 
treat it with something and then build some contraption uh, that sits on top of that uh, because now I'm growing it in a planter pot. So, uh, But at some point I would probably have to put it in the ground because it's limited how big you yeah, can yeah. grow them in a pot, I'm guessing. So, yeah, so I'm looking into ways of actually doing that project. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd probably give it some clear thinking. lacquer. Yeah. Yeah, Becker is probably good. Yeah, and I think ten years it probably should be, if it's a decent axe, it should last. It should be a, should survive a clean up anyway afterwards. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's yeah. never going to rust. So I think if you put some clear lacquer on it, that will help it the first few years and the rest. Yeah. It's it's just going to be surface rust anyway. But yeah, that, yeah, it's such a cool project just to take a photo from the same spot of it every year. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and I've I've been thinking about it. Maybe I should bring it with me. We we are going to visit my mother's cabin this summer for a week, and I mean, we're not going to move from the cabin. So it, maybe I should plant the tree there and build something that hold the uh, the axe blade in place because we know it's going to stay there until it's uh, fully grown. Sounds like a good plan. Nice. Yeah, fun project. I'm going to do something <laughs> similar. I think yeah. just to see, yeah, but n- not with, with as much fast fuss around it. But <laughs> just a bit more crudely, KJ. Yes, definitely. <laughs> It'd be quite nice to do something based around bamboo. Actually, that'd be a much quicker thing to do. Is that a do. good handle material? You think? I don't know. They make scaffolding out of it in China, don't they? Yeah, but I, th- yeah. I think ha- hazel should be a good alternative because that yeah. will grow into that handle with in two years and yeah. it's also a proper har- i mean a handle of that should take quite the beating yeah yeah that's a good plan yeah, you've got some hazel haven't you yeah i just cut down the neighbor's hedge and it's already yeah. sprouting up so i mean i could do that within two years and i'm sure we're gonna live here for that long i mean i am planning on extending my workshop without cool. mes- measuring yesterday so <laughs> <laughs> for one minute there, i thought you said I'm sure I'm going to live that long. <laughs> well, <that's, laughs> nothing is ever sure in this world, but yeah, hopefully. <laughs> I just, uh, I fixed my, uh, when we bought this house, they, they left a lawnmower, which is the, the pushy uh, type. I think it was Eddie Isard who called that lawnmower type for a uh, in one of his comedy shows. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I followed with the house and it was brand new, of course, from the 70s, obviously. And it's been working brilliantly. So I just took it apart, gave it some oil hair the other day and put it back again. So it should last for another 40 years, uh, as should I, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> just need the oil, a bit <laughs> oil hair in there. I've always fancied having one of those mirrors. We have a the back garden is on two tiers because Lincolnshire is not completely flat. And um, <laughs> you've got the only slope. <laughs> I, got, I do live on the only hill, <laughs> and um, yeah, I'd really quite like one of those just to do the top top lawn with. I think it'd be great. Yeah, yeah. I remember that when I started mowing the lawn when I was a kid, I used one of those uh, the first time, and it took me the entire day yeah. to mow the lawn because it was so <laughs> so tedious. So then after after that, after seeing seeing me do that, my dad said. But, you can use the the other one instead <laughs> if you want, and then it only only took me three hours to to mow the lawn. Yeah. So you can think how big that lawn was. Yeah. I've well, actually seen one of those. You get them with a petrol engine as well, and the yeah. nice thing is, it, they really cut the grass. It is like scissor yeah. uh, blades, so it doesn't just slap the grass but it really cuts it so it, it's really nice if you're going to have like a golf course or something um, but well, it's, uh, a, it's a cylinder mower it's called and it yeah. has a big heavy roller on the back which also helps keep everything level so yeah they do use it on golf courses and um, bowling greens and things like that but it, they're absolutely useless if they if you miss the grass one week <laughs> yeah, so useless. They just flatten it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you need uh, you need a second lawnmower for yeah. cutting cutting it down. And I just have it in my garden. So if I'm outside uh, having a beer, I like all right. Well, just uh, take two runs with it, and then the next day when I come home for work, I just every time I walk past it, I just one one direction, and I come the other one. I just I just whatever direction I'm going, I just bring it with me, and that is enough to actually keep the grass. That's brilliant. 
Uh, and it doesn't make too much noise, of course. Uh, that's nice. Yeah. yeah, in the evening you can still go out and cut the grass <laughs> without uh, bothering the neighbors. And it's a good workout. Yeah. I mean, it's. I think it has never been as good as it is now because I really took it apart and greased up everything and you could just spin the blade with one finger and it takes a lot of revolutions before it stops. So uh, I think it was meant to be that way from the beginning, but that <laughs> it's never been that before this week. Yeah. If it moves, oil it. That's yeah. fine. So, so you back on the Hellcorder now then, Havard as well? Full steam on that? <laughs> Yeah, I'm actually hoping it's not going to be this weekend, but next weekend I'm going to do some proper testing. I think we have some, uh, well, children's birthday party and family birthday party next weekend. And, uh, of course, on, that's on Saturday. And on Sunday we're going in another birthday party. So I'm not going to get anything done this week, I think, with the editing of the podcast. But, yeah. I am really looking forward to uh, seeing the end of it, at least at this stage. And of course, yesterday I uh, got a new project. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Did you see that little reel I sent you earlier on? Well, which one? It was I sent you one today, just privately. It's, um, it really does apply to you. You should watch it. It talks about not taking on other projects. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I skipped that one. <laughs> <laughs> No, because I, I, of course, bringing out the various hedge trimming equipment today and starting it up and uh, cutting grass and branches and whatnot. Of course, I have the spare one with the engine that I really don't know what to do with. And I realized that I have an old project that I wanted to do, um, but I was not quick enough to get one when they gave it away because we have this uh, KitchenAid uh, kitchen appliances. Yep. And I, I just want to slap a petrol engine on it. Uh, and uh, I realized that now I have the motor and the axle. And of course, the attachment at the end is a chainsaw. <laughs> and that actually also has the angle drive. Yeah. So that means that I can just remove the middle axle uh, and make a connection. And with the angle drive for the chain drive, I can just swap that directly in. Yeah. So I'm just seeing a project <laughs> just coming together in my mind. And of course, I went to the online marketplace and like, all right, somebody's selling one that is kind of broken. And I know what's wrong with them because they have a lot of gears, but one of them is in plastic and it's also yeah. built in as a weak point. So that's the one it really grinds the teeth out of if something like seizes up. But that's also the part I'm going to chuck out because I'm going to mount the... A petrol engine on it, so uh, yeah. I'm, uh... Is that for baking on the go <laughs> when out in nature? <laughs> yeah, I, I was thinking of making the video like, um, of course, I like uh, firing. I like no, I like um, making a small fire in the woods, brewing your coffee, and of course, enjoying <laughs> the peace and quiet. And of course, uh, I also like to bake my own bread. But I mean, in the nature, that's a hassle and at least a kneading part because you need a table. And of course, that's <laughs> that's a pain in itself in your kitchen without a kitchen aid. But then I got an idea. What if I could? And then, of course, em emphasizing the peace and quiet of the wood and then suddenly just <laughs> like <laughs> baking bread in the middle of nowhere in the woods. <laughs> that sounds bloody awesome. I'm all for that. Yeah, I look forward to that one too. <laughs> yeah. Some nice nature pictures from Norway as well. And... Yeah, yeah, some birds chirping and like really good B rolls of some coffee <laughs> boiling on a small campfire. And then just, wouldn't it be nice to bake a bread? <laughs> so, yeah, that's. Uh... The birds just flying away. <laughs> <Yeah. the snow. laughs> it's a shame you don't live in England. All those dead rabbits you could throw in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i actually i i had to google it to see if anyone has done it or not uh but i couldn't find a video and do you have top gear over there yeah yeah they did the blender and the v8 yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, probably they were... where i got the inspiration <laughs> yeah. from grinding bones and all sorts with it. <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah making broth <laughs> i remember yeah Ugh. yeah 
That was gross. <laughs> so yeah, I think uh, not this week, but next week it's going to be a couple of good projects, I think. And uh, yeah, it's been a really nice week weather-wise as well. So now I have the yeah. capability of opening up my workshop and working with a uh, open garage door, and it's really nice. I don't have to put the heater on. Yeah, it's really it's good. good. Yeah, you've no- I don't know whether you've noticed. There's been no clicking from my heater in here the past couple of times. I mean, oh. plenty of other clicking from in here, but not from yeah, the yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, <laughs> only the the microphone and yeah, yeah. <laughs> the chair. <laughs> Very good. Well, I think we've uh, I think we've reached that point, haven't we, gentlemen? Sounds like it. Yeah. Yeah. Good night. It's been a blast. See you next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>